overall as they were winners over the Hawks six to four the Vikings got the best of the Jethawks six to one the Irish grabbed the win against the Blue Devils five two the Cardinals put together 10 total hits as they defeated the Wildcats six to four the Cardinals grabbed 13 hits in the game as they took down the Bears five to three the Rangers combined for four total home runs as they embarrassed the Aggies 11 to 3. The Wildcats had 12 hits as a team as they beat the Bearcat. On the corner of Dave Niehaus Way and Edgar Martinez Drive, welcome to T-Mobile Park. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's North Carolina taking on Portland. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Almost ready to get underway and pitching in this game Greg Maddox singing he is one of the best to ever do it a true legend in this game with over 300 career wins always a joy to watch him go to work it's effortless out there doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve doesn't know when he's high or when he's low okay all set to go here's Nick Madrigal and the pitch that one misses and we're underway here this afternoon First pitch, 110. And the 1 0. And that's in there at the knees. The wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. And let's take a look at the lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Jorge Soler. Bell Boog, not just the fans, not just the people watching this game, but us. I mean, we're pretty fired up to watch this guy swing the bat. He's got big time pop this season, slugging percentage over 500. Outfielders, put your track shoes on because you're going to be running in the gaps, trying to climb the wall. This guy is going to do damage when he gets the bat to the baseball. Don't take your eyes off of him. Justin Mordeaux watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Got him. Two away. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch. Right over the heart of the plate, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be Mike Piazza. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. No score just getting started top of the first. Oh and two as he waves at that one. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. The one two. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Yes. Bottom of the first. 
And pitching here today, Tyler McGill. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, I'm looking to see if he can increase the amount of swings and misses and perhaps get more strikeouts because hitters are batting over 300 against him. And that means guys are getting the barrel to the ball. Exit velocity has got to be pretty good when you have that kind of batting average. So he's going to have to find a way to do something different in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Stepping in, Gary Sheffield. And a pitch. And he pumps it a strike. And a pitch. Strike two. Well, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. At the belt and fires. Slider misses outside. And a ball in two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing exactly. more fastballs no in that stop. location. Hitters, yeah. especially with two Very strikes, good. have to be ready to pull the trigger. Josh Harrison will hit next. And that's in there for strike one. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. Line drive. And a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That's a good that sound good. coming off the bat, no man. And as he connected out front and no. lifted into the outfield, Gunner. that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Man at first with one gone. Here's some real power at the plate. Ralph Kiner, three for eight in the series coming in. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a pitch. Harrison stands at first with one out. Next pitch misses way outside. Right-hander kicks deals. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And down on strikes. And now two gone. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Next to hit, Ryan Howard in there for strike one. Left hand hitter waits, ball. and it's even up. One ball, one strike. And he gets tied up right there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. And that rolls into the corner. Cut off, throw to second. Not in time, it's a double. 
Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And now, Harmon Killebrew. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Two outs, two in scoring position. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. The pitch. And now two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The two one. Fought off foul. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We'll head to inning number two at T-Mobile Park. No score. Back at T-Mobile Park. Here's a big power threat. Nelson Leading Cruz. For North Carolina, the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Maddox back to work. He swings and fouls one off. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. He's got it, and there's one down. Four, the left fielder, number 29, Joe. Here's the veteran outfielder, Joe Carter. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. And a foul ball. The one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. Boog Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. And the next pitch is way outside. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Swings and misses. Now two out. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of the start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate, or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. Two outs, bases empty. Jorge Soler up at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty delivers. Here's a rocket out to left. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. The catcher.
Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Swings through that one. And here comes. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Fell in the box. He's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Here's Austin Riley. On the ground, two ball. That hits the dirt and one and one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if and there he goes. Next offering is fouled back. Started after the one two pitch appeal to first he did not go around nothing nothing here in the bottom of the second there's a swing and a drive back there dives but it falls and now it looks like extra bases and he boots it knocks it down run scores easily and it's one nothing play at the plate and he's out he tried for the inside the Parker and he couldn't make it Bellinger up to hit. Batting eight, the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. First offering, and it just misses. And another ball. Righty to the plate. That one drilled left field. That's back there. And that one is off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. So when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And it's second with one away. Here's Chavis now. Batting nine. The second baseman, Michael. First pitch, just Chavis. misses. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. The 1 0. And that one is in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. Bellinger, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is foul back. pitch cut on and miss struck him out now two away Gary the right Sheffield field, getting 10. ready to hit Gary. Sheffield having more success against left-handed pitching this season as might be expected
Rolled over to third. Tosses across the first. That's out number three. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. The Pilots on top one to nothing. Back in Seattle, top half of the third inning, stepping in the long ball threat, Patrick Wisdom. The third baseman. And Chris, probably Patrick. no other player better represents present day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And now it's even up. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. The why to kick the pitch. That misses the zone. It's two and two. And the righty deals. Stays alive. The next offering misses. And the count is filled up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. Here's Byron Buxton. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Kicks and fires. Way out front for strike two. That one fouled off. Here's a one two. Ball two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Next one misses, and it's a full count. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Three, two on the way. And there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that ball. Next up, it's the first-year shortstop, Jordan Lawler. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and deals. One and one. Move to first. Buxton back in there. Ball Next two. pitch misses. And it's two and one.
And he deals. There's a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And a 2 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. 2 2 now. And now the count filled up 3 and 2. And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a 3 2. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a pitch. In the air out to center. Base hit. One run is in. Bellinger fires it to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 2-1. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And here's the first baseman, Justin Mordeaux. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And the first offering is not close. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air right field pretty well struck that one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right right there almost got out of here thanks to the wind. Now it's batting. whipping Catcher. right now. Mike. Piazza. Here's the catcher, Mike Piazza. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. And that one missing low. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Madrigal leads off first with two down to the inning. And it's fouled away. The pitch. On a line, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now the batter now, Nelson Cruz. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First offering misses the mark. First and second, two down. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. And they add to their lead. It's 
Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. And now here is Joe Carter. The left fielder, number 29, Joe in there for strike one. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Next offering upstairs. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And one and two. I got the one and two. The wind and the pitch. Right side, hard hit. Takes it himself, and that'll do it. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Bottom of the inning, here's the shortstop at the play. Josh Harrison. The Pilots in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. McGill back to work. There's the strike. All one's the count. And the pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With now two strikes, you're looking to protect. No and halfway to the well, plate, you know you've committed. Neither. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Now the left fielder, Ralph Kiner. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And a pitch. And there's a ball. At the belt and fires. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. On a line out towards center. Racing makes the catch. Out number two. The first baseman, number six. Ryan. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan Howard. And a major milestone is right around the corner. One home run short of 400 for his career. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Boo, you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Killebrew in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Howard off of first with two away. Next nope. offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. 
Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. 2 0. And a strike on the outside edge. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Righty delivers. And one fouled off, two and two. Now fly ball to right center. Buxton, as he glides to his left, makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that'll do it. Yes. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and here is Jorge Soler. For North Carolina, the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. The pitch. Off the mark there, and it's one to know. Right hander kicks deals. That misses off the outside edge. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch the out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Next to hit, Patrick Wisdom. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. The punch out there, and there's two away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And now the center fielder, Byron Buxton. First pitch, and he just misses. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Kiner moving under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Will Smith. The catcher. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, one down. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Now 
And the righty deals. And a count one and two. The one two misses to even the count. The next pitch misses three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Kicks and deals. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Cruz long run on his horse got it covered plenty of distance there and there's now one down it. No, those Third can be pretty man. fun as an outfielder oh, got sure. to put it into his highest oh, gear nice. and go a long way to track that one down nothing better than that you feel like a wide receiver playing football Riley the next to hit takes ball one Next pitch misses inside, 2 and 0. And he deals. That's a strike across the top of the zone. The pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 2 and 2. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far fielder, in on him. I think that pitch is just a Cody. little more out over the plate. That probably squares sure. it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. Here's Cody Bellinger. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Kicks and fires. That one misses. One and one. Hey. That's through there for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes he goes. And that ends the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back at T-Mobile Park, at the play, Jordan Lawler. Leading off for the Tar Heels, the shortstop, Jordan Lawler. The pitch. That's down and in. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Eflin preparing to come on if needed. Here comes the pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Sheffield racing over to make the catch. The batter number two, second base, Nick. So the batting Madrigal. order turns over. Nick Madrigal now at the plate. Aye. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good eye right there. The 1-1. One, one. And a good eye there. Two balls, one strike. Hey. 
The two on is high. A wind in the pitch. That clips the corner. We got three and two. This one in the air right field. Sheffield gets under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The first baseman, number 33, Justin Morneau. Two outs, bases empty. And now the first baseman, Justin Morneau. In there, and it's 0-1. And ball one. That counts. One and one. Left hand batter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Oh, Upstairs. Right up Stays alive. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That extends his hitting streak to an even dozen, singing. Do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Greg Maddox will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Zach Efron comes on now. He last pitched two days ago. But at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now, Mike Piazza. On the ground. They get the force, and that will end the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Tar Heels on top here, five to one. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now it's Michael Chavis. Leading off for the pilot. They've got a potent lineup, and when baseman. you think about teams capable Michael. of rallying from this kind of deficit, hey, they're right at the top of the list. Late swing fouled off. Next one misses, and it's one and one. Yeah, this is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big time power. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So the lineup flips over, and now the right fielder, Gary now Sheffield. The right fielder, Gary. First pitch, not close. Chavis from Sprayberry High School, and you know what? Spray something here, you're driving a run. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Oh, 
No outs. Runner on second. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Pulls it in on the run. Runner tags up for third. He's in there. Now batting. Not shortstop. Josh, Josh Harrison, Harrison. The next to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Right hander kicks deals. And now two and nothing. Chavis stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next pitch downstairs. And now 3 0. Righty delivers. And that's through there for a strike. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball left side. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. One away with a runner at third. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit and a run in to score. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's some real power at the plate. Ralph Kiner. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Ball. Two -oh count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. And a pitch. On the ground, right side, and it gets by him. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. The first baseman, number Sean Newcomb, taking Five. over on the mound, and he'll do his Five. best to hang on to this lead. Your attention, please. Now so one out with two aboard. Now here is Ryan Howard. This guy has turned into a beast. Nope. First offering misses the mark. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Ground ball right side could be two. The throw to second. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's 5-2. And welcome back. Top six. Here's a big power threat. Nelson Cruz. With this kind of lead, he can swing Nelson. freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And a pitch. There's a strike. 
Activity in the bullpen. Juan Minaya up and loosening in the pen. Watson, the lefty, warming up as well. And yeah, the right hander deals. And there's the strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next offering is down low. One and two to count. And here it comes. That one misses. Now two and two. But why the kick the pitch? And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right handed reliever stays alive. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. The wind of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Two two now. And there's a foul ball. Got it. And there's one down. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Now at the plate, Joe Carter. First pitch, just misses. Righty deals. Lifted in the air, right field. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now batting. With the way defenders hit. track down balls Jorge these days, I mean, both from the Soler. infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. One gone runner at first. Now it's the DH, Jorge Soler. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a slider for a strike. And he deals. That one missed. The 2 1. Foul ball. 